सो हेलो एवरीबडी दीज आर माई टू सन्स रेन एंड कबीर से हेलो रेन एंड कबीर ओके सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू मेक हेल्दी कुकीज फॉर देम एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो प्रिपेयर सम हेल्दी कुकीज फॉर द हेल्दी कुकीज वी विल बी यूजिंग सम ओट मील एंड राई रागी एंड सम बटर सम वीट फ्लावर here we will be using some butter a little milk vanilla essence uh, for sweetener we can use coconut nectar honey sugar and this is a mixture of sugar and brown sugar we can also use some hemp seed oil because uh, everybody they don't prefer butter so i will be using some hemp seed oil and some almond oil so these are some Uh, cold pressed uh, hemp seed oil and almond butter and uh, here i have already caramelized some sugar in butter okay uh, for the last uh, recipe which we have used so i will be telling you again how to do this so for this we will be needing butter clean the spoon okay don't forget to wash your hands Don't forget to wash your hands before the recipe. Okay, so I will be using butter. I will be just showing you. Ah, uh, you can use two teaspoon of uh, butter for this. This is melted at room temperature. The soft butter. Okay, don't cook the butter. And uh, here we will be using some hemp seeds oil. This is really good for kids. And some fresh. Cold pressed almond oil because these these things are really good for health and uh, we all care a lot for our kids so it is always good. Now we need to add some sweetener in this. For sweetener we can add some um. brown sugar and white sugar as kids they uh, may not like completely coconut nectar or uh, stevia so we will be using some brown sugar and white sugar mixed together and uh, some coconut nectar i also like to put some honey but uh, this time it's uh, uh, it's okay we will be using these and now we are going to whisk them together okay we will mix them together okay so that we will caramelize it i'm using a very little amount of this because i have already prepared this mixture before we will not be using any unhealthy material any unhealthy ingredient in this because uh, we always want to be very very healthy for flavor you can add a little of Four to five drops of um, vanilla essence. Our uh, previous uh, caramelized sugar also has the same thing. So we will be mixing this. You can also whip this, but uh, this, the, as these are powdered and uh, caramelized things, so we don't need much effort to mix them together. Okay, so. Just mix, mix, mix nicely. Okay, I will be adding the previous mixture. It is also the same thing, but it just has butter and uh, coconut oil. A little of coconut oil. No honey. Uh, you can add honey also. This time I am using a few ingredients. Please make sure. that uh, they are mixed nicely you can add um, one teaspoon of milk not much of milk just to mix them nicely and at the end we will be adding these are grounded pista and almond powder in the previous one we used coconut flour here we will be adding brown nut um pista and almond and uh, here 
we will be giving them a mix. Kabir, would you like to mix it a little? Mm. Mix it. <coughs> mix, mix, mix. Okay, Ryan, would you like to mix it a little? Hmm? Come. If you want to mix it a little. It is very caramelized and it smells also very good. Mix it, mix it nicely. Alright, now this is the time to add the flour in this. Okay, I will be adding some flour in this. We can add over the whole but we will add it slowly and gradually, not all together. Okay, so we will be adding this flour slowly and gradually once the amount which is ready it will be done we will add the rest because we have to we have to mix it nicely okay we will see if we need uh, more milk we can add a little milk uh, slowly and gradually so that we will be adding this only when it is required all right so here it is we will be adding more so this is the need yeah please thank you if we feel like that we need some ingredient which is less then we can add gradually okay uh, i think there is less of uh, oil so i'm adding a little almond oil in this so that that will fulfill the requirement if we find it we need sweetener we cannot add any dry sweetener now because it will take too much time so we can add some honey as well so now it is the turn of honey. The honey is a, it is a jelly inside. So I, I have to take it out from the other side of the spoon. You can uh, keep the honey outside in a bowl in advance too. Okay. I'm also having a little caramelized mixture left out previous mixture so so now I think it need a little more moisture I added one small teaspoon of milk again now i think i need to bind them all together i've told you in all the recipes don't forget to wash your hands before doing any recipe any preparation okay so here i'm going to bind them all together this is more soft than the previous one because uh, in the previous one we just had oats in this we have uh, very finely finely grounded flour of wheat and ragi and uh, we're just using uh, half of the oats and half of uh, the flour they are quite nicely grounded one so now if you can see these are very nicely done all right so we will roll them again in uh, the foil paper just to freeze them nicely all right so here we will keep it aside the mixture is nicely binded you see there is no residue left in the bowl now all right i'm keeping this aside so that i can i can uh, put the foil paper over here
okay here is the foil paper i'm keeping it here okay you can roll it nicely on the foil paper for one hour, one to two hour or even if you leave it for more time it's okay after that we will slice them and bake them in the oven at 180 degrees celsius for eight to ten minutes okay and then we will check in the beginning it will be soft we will let it set after that we will see how crunchy they are these are really nice recipes for your morning breakfast for your snacks it has good proteins it has enough minerals and it's really really healthy so do try this recipe at your home